Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Usama Tahir and you have just tuned to learn English with Usama Tahir. Students, we have covered our three language learning theories and I hope you have learned it very well. Today we are going to talk about different factors and different situations, different personality types and your mentality, your intelligence, your motivation that helps you in learning English or any other language and that even stops you from it okay whatever you're learning whether it's a language or any skill there are some factors that influences your learning influences your learning quality influences and impacts your learning speed and sometimes these factors are favorable in your learning experience and sometimes the lack of such things or different nature of uh, your personality stops you from learning <coughs> so without wasting time let's move to the topic factors influencing learning so there are different factors that influence influences and that impacts your uh, language learning because uh, when you're and we are talking here the language learning the second language learning the non-native language learning which is a stressed process which is a conscious process and you have to consciously work for it uh, to learn the second language we are not talking about the first language learning now so keep it in your mind so personal factors influencing learning the process of learning okay there is a process of learning the second language learning is influenced by a variety of personal factors a thorough knowledge of these factors will prove very helpful for teachers and parents in understanding and guiding their children's learning so there are some personal factors uh, on the hand of the learners on the hand of the second language learners that uh, impacts their learning and we will be discussing these factors and what is the you know uh, there will be a purpose of learning these factors right and what are the purpose of it if you get to know these personal factors that these things and these factors are influencing your learning you will be uh, conscious about improving these skills about improvement of these factors so this uh, knowing of factors this knowing of factor will factors will improve your uh, learning experience so this is uh, that's why we are uh, learning about these personal factors so the first one is sensation and perception guys listen to me very carefully whatever you learn in life I'm not going to read the slides today these slides are for you you can for your reading okay you can pause the video after every point I will complete and then you can read them down and then you can stick then you can start to the next uh, slide you can uh, you know replay or you can uh, resume the video okay I am just going to explain the sensation and perception in my own words students whatever you learn in life whether it's language whether it's driving whether it's uh, language skills communication whether it's manners whatever you learn in life whether it's designing whatever your sensation and perception leads you to that, that learning what is sensation students we have five sense organs what are these organs uh, skin ears tongue eyes and nose okay these are five in number and you uh, these five organs helps you in the perception of things for example you perceive the taste through your tongue you you perceive the sounds through your ears you touch the thing and perceive its structure that it's uh, it's soft or whatever and you see things from your eyes and it creates a perception in your mind about things about their appearance uh, from the appearance you perceive it and the nose you you smell things uh, according to this language is learned from the sensation and the sensation is helpful in making the perception okay Percep you can say that perception is at the core of the sensation sorry sensation is at the core of the perception that whatever you want to perceive about the language learning your sensation helps you in learning this F uh, okay let me exemplify it if your ears are perceiving the sounds clearly and quickly your learning would be better okay if you are seeing the words very keenly I'm talking about the written words now 
your perception will be triggered and you will learn it very quickly and easily so your sensation and the quality of how you sense things and how you perceive things uh, affects your learning experience you know sometimes uh, i can give you an example from different people that some people are good at hearing and understanding things and some are not good at it so how would they be able to learn the language better than the person who is good at listening okay some people are good at seeing the words and you know perceiving them and making their s- images in his or her mind about the letters and he or she perceives sounds and reading skills are better than the person who is not good at sensing the words so your sensation and the way you perceive things are totally affecting your learning experience in language learning <coughs> next one we have fatigue and boredom students sometimes uh, during language lessons during language lectures we get tired tiredness can be of two types you can be physically and mentally tired and boredom you can be uh, like you sometimes you don't feel like learning it it like it's like aversion to work and lack of desire so it is said that fatigue is less dangerous in stopping your learning experience in slowing down your learning rather than boredom if you feel bored about learning english for example you are in an english class and there is no fatigue you are totally fresh but you are bored you have no desire of learning english it will stop your learning it will slow down your learning you are taking it as a burden and if you if you are physically and mentally tired it will also slow down your learning so this factor has to be uh, reduced to improve and enhance your learning you should be less bored about learning anything and you should be mentally and physically fresh so how can you be mentally and physically fresh you t- you should consult to the dietitian and you should exercise and you should h- adopt the healthy lifestyle right and for the boredom you should consciously develop your interest in the subjects you know some students says uh, that i don't uh, interest in that subject then why you are learning it and if you are learning it then create the interest then try to make it interesting for you because it's your duty you can't make that excuse that it bores you and i'm not going to learn it if you are if you have taken that subject then why have you taken it you you are mature enough to decide on your own and if your parents imposed it on you then i think you should uh, you know make it your interest then if you want to be successful in life or if you want to learn anything successfully next is age and maturation students your age and the how much you are matured affects your learning experience for example a 4 year or for example a 10 year old child okay the learning acquisition period has been stopped now his uh, age and the age of the 23 or 24 is different but you know what the one who is younger will learn language better because he has no shame he is not matured or sometimes you have to be mature to learn some, learn some skills and you have to be mature because the for example reading skills will be learned when you are mature and similarly the writing skills but speaking and listening can be learned when you are young so age and maturation are the factors that are rela- a variable in my opinion and learning is directly dependent upon age and maturation no learning can take place unless individual is mature enough to learn some children can learn better at earlier age while other take more time to learn the same content so it is variable changeable it depends from one situation to another next is emotional conditions if you are sad if you are upset and you are depressed and not happy from the life you cannot learn anything you cannot achieve anything whether it's learning any language whether it's learning any skill whatever your emotional conditions you should be positive you should be happy you should be satisfied with what you are doing and if you are upset and depressed you should minimize those emotional conditions if you are uh, facing challenges in your learning of any language so you should consider that how about your emotions when you get up 8 am in the morning and thinks about the english class and your emotions are not supported uh, to attend that class how your attendance or how you are sitting in that class is not improving you because it's not you're not learning your emotional conditions are uh, you know creating an hindrance for you to learn better 
so you should be emotionally healthy you should be mentally healthy you should be happy and for this you can be you know uh, positive in life you should consult my other videos where i discussed that how can you be happy and stress free i will give the link as well okay needs a need is the lack of something okay which if provided will facilitate child's usual behavior okay needs is something what are your needs about learning english and these needs are affecting your learning experience for example a candidate wants to go to america and he is he has taken admission in tofu he will and she will have to learn he knows it she knows it <coughs> that there is no any other way out and his and her needs are totally significant for him or her i mean he is not uh, i mean that individual is not taking the classes just for the amusement or the little learning but that individual wants to go to america and it's necessary for him or her to learn the language to get good grades to get good uh, percentage to go to the america so needs are uh, triggering your uh, so needs trigger your learning experience if your needs are if you think something is uh, you are in extreme need of you will learn it whatever happens so your learning is triggered by the needs you have and the intensity of your needs it uh, triggers and improves and improves your learning experience interest as i have already talked about the interest that what is the nature of your interest there are some students who are interested in reading skills and some students who are good at speaking and inter take interest in the speaking skills so this is how your learning is diverted according to your interest if you are not taking interest in the subject you are or in the in that learning experience uh, for example if you are in an english class and it's an essay writing class and you have no interest in writing an essay and you think it's just like a boring thing and i don't want to do it and what is this a crap thing i don't want to do it then your uh, learning will be slowed down and if there is a speaking class and you are highly interested in speaking english fluently and you take interest your learning will be triggered and you will learn it very better than the writing of essay than essay writing so this is it's not all about intelligence or motivation it's about your interest that motivates you to learn better motivation motivation is something you're dedicated with you're motivated with and your motivation triggered you for learning motivation can be internal and motivation can be external internal internal motivation means that you feel pleasure inside your soul that i i love doing it and i don't uh, care about what other people think about it for example if i run my youtube channel and people think it's like in being in pakistan it's like it will uh, it will not going to give you anything you are not going to achieve anything in life because it mostly people think that they're running a channel and nothing's going to happen for them but if you are motivated you will keep on you know uploading videos and if you are less motivated you will not upload videos and you will not learn you will not be succeeded similarly in learning language if you are motivated if your teachers are motivating you that you can do it and you've motivated and you have the straight direct uh, you know straight point of view that i am going to learn it then you will learn it and your uh, your learning experience will be enhanced extrinsic or oh, extrinsic motivation means that you want uh, some external motivation or for example if you want to please your parents this is external extrinsic motivation that i want to do it because this external need uh, would be fulfilled and internal i mean opposite of internal is external intelligence intelligence is all about god gifted some are gifted with higher iq like uh, we can talk about uh, different uh, scientists um, i don't know the names because i'm not into science for example albert einstein or anything or the other scientists they have been gifted with higher iq so their learning was already enhanced by the nature so similarly for learning any language your your iq your intelligence quotient counts if you have a student with higher iq you will learn better than a person with lower iq so it's totally god gifted and you can improve your uh, iq through problem solving exercises from uh, playing different games from uh, taking interest in the riddles and different things and even playing sports improves your mental activities and increases the blood flow in your brain and it helps you uh, to enhance your iq score 
so it makes you healthy so your iq increases so you can adopt these things to improve your iq so you can learn language you can learn any language better you can learn any skill better anything like that aptitude is something you're feeling about the subject the way you feel about the subject the way you take the subject you, the way you adapt it is your aptitude for example if someone is pain if someone is in pain and you're showing aptitude that you are feeling that person's pain so similarly if you're learning english and you have the aptitude for the english for each and every word each and every synonym you will learn it very better than a person who has no personal connection who has no emotional connection with the words let's take an example from your native language and your second language learning you know what you are good at it, your native language because you have the quick feeling with the words quick feelings with the sounds and the structures everything you have the aptitude you have this you have the emotional connection with your native language okay and for your second language you have no emotional connection and you have less emotional connection you can say for example in urdu you say mahabbat you have so much feeling strong emotion attached to that word in your mind but if you say love you are totally down that love love is like mahabbat but you are showing less aptitude in using that word in urdu you are uh, you uh, sorry in english rather than <coughs> in urdu you know some people that i say that i feel amazing to abuse in my native language rather than in the second language because your aptitude is totally uh for your native language so you have to transform the aptitude you have to switch to the you have to switch your aptitude to the uh, second language your attitude whether you're arrogant whether you are humi- uh, whether you have humility whether you are attentive whether you're lazy whether you are uh, whether you are like pleasant uh, wh- whatever your nature type helps or stops you from learning okay there are few these were previous we have discussed personal factors now there are some environmental factors on which you have very less control on for example your surrounding your surrounding is very significant in your learning experience for example if there is stress in your surrounding the fan is not working and there are no air conditions and the weather conditions are not good and people in your surrounding are not favorable and cooperative your learning will be stopped or or minimized or slowed down and if the surrounding is positive everything is working well there are uh, there are different uh, facilities available the weather is good your learning will be triggered and your relationship with teachers how you perceive your teachers parents and peers uh, can stop your learning can minimize your learning and can trigger your learning it depends on whether it's uh, you are having positive relationships with your teacher parents and peers or the negative one and media influences on learning that how media is uh, making your mind about uh, anything that if media is taking that learning which is good for you you will learn it you will think that it's okay to do it because there are so many job facilities in my country if media is tricking you about it you will learn it better so that was all today and there are multiple other factors as well i have tried my best to discuss the basic factors that uh, helps you in learning any language so that was all today thank you allah hafiz